Hi, my name is Justin Caffrey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to share a little bit this week on imposter syndrome and how that impacts your autonomic nervous system, boosting anxiety and decreasing your performance. I'm on vacation at the moment. I've just presented to a corporate client and I met my imposter. So I'm going to just unpack that a little bit while the emotions are still raw in the body. Please, if you can, like and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me over on Instagram, Justin underscore Caffrey. You can reach out to me if you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis at justincaffrey.com or you can join one of my courses at remotetribe.co.uk. But let's get into it. Imposter syndrome. So I had a presentation to make made it to a corporate client we were talking about psychological safety and then it's over the zoom call ends and I'm left there and immediately the voice comes back mm, that wasn't good enough you're not good enough everybody knows you're not good enough didn't work could have been better I don't need any feedback for that. That's the kind of disrupt disruptive narrative that will drop in. And when that comes in, your heart rate rises and your nervous system starts to move into fight and flight. So if you're already predisposed to stress, anxiety, if you're struggling post COVID, if you have long COVID and you're working and the imposter syndrome comes in, it's going to really agitate and aggravate the situation for you. So you have to have tools available to get rid of it. I'm out here walking and this is my tool. I knew that if I stayed inside, I'd procrastinate. I would end up in this perpetual loop of pain and shame. Put myself down, make myself feel worse. Well, I know nobody's died and it was okay. And at the end of the day, we can always do better. We don't need to persecute ourselves for that. But when I'm trapped in fight and flight, I can't talk logic to myself because my body's captured by the fight and flight terrorist. I need to get outside and do something so I can breathe, I can meditate, I can walk. For me, the combination of nasal breathing, four seconds in, six seconds out, and walking in nature does the trick. It's almost like your nervous system has a GPS. It thinks that the threat to my life is back there in that room where I present it. And as I move away from that point, it starts to feel a little bit easier. It starts to settle down a little bit. And I start to feel like I'm coming back to myself again. So imposter syndrome is real. And many of you who follow me may not think I would ever get imposter syndrome. Of course I do, everybody suffers from it. I coach some incredibly successful people and often it's the driving force to keep you on your game. But you must make sure that you don't allow him to take up refuge and to stay with you for any length of time. So find what it is, shift the energy, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, jump in the cold water, jump in a cold shower, connect to that. Nasal breath, four seconds in, six seconds out shift the nervous system back to a calmer state i hope that's been helpful to you please share this with anybody you think could benefit from it please do come and follow me over on instagram you can also connect with me on linkedin if you'd like to talk to me about corporate talks where you get to witness my imposter syndrome you can reach out to me at justacaffrey.com or you can work with me on a coaching basis on a one-to-one -one as well thanks for watching have a great day